So let me uh, zoom this in just a little bit more. All right, so um, it's worth 300 points again. You have until August 2nd, so two weeks from today. And the idea is to write a program in Java to get the total wins for a horse race application, okay? So each year I, I own a horse farm and I enter, into, I enter four of my horses into five local races. And I use the table below to keep track of my horse's performance in each race. Okay, so in the table down here, the number of ones, not these rows and columns, but number of ones inside the table here. Okay, the ones uh, would uh, represent the, uh, the place that horse wins <coughs> in that race. So the rows, here would be the horse, each horse I have. So each horse, number one, two, and three, four. You can give it a name if you want, you know, um, you know maybe like a, uh, whatever you want to call it. The columns are the number of races. Okay, so horse number one enters uh, five, so they all enter five races. So horse one, the first race, uh, he didn't win. So he placed zero position, right? So that's, a, that's the fourth, uh, will, be, will be called the uh, no place win. And then the second race, he got first place. Third race, didn't win. Fourth place, fourth race got third place, and the fifth got second place. Okay, it's the same for each horse. So you're gonna you're gonna design this program so that if I want to know, okay, how many wins, uh, what are the places uh, or placements for the horse number two, and you should be able to tell me, okay, horse number two, uh, first race, or you don't have to say first race, just say uh, wins, uh, first place one time. Uh, second place one time, third place zero times, um, and then you have zero three zero. So did not place three times. Okay, so basically you just count the number of zeros and ones and twos and threes, and then you tabulate them. Okay, so now <coughs> a sample run will look something like this. Here's my <coughs> horse numbers, and then the number of races. So if I say pick a horse, one, two, three, and four, or five for all of them, right? So if I pick one, it shows me that the first place has only one one in here, so one time. <coughs> you don't have to specify which race number. It just say how many, how many first place did horse number one place, okay, win. Over a second place, oh, there's a second place here for the fifth race, so there's one count for that and then one count for the third place, and then two counts for the no place. So I have two zeros, okay? So that's the output here. So if I pick horse number two, I will show the same results here, except we have a different numbers here, right? So two would have uh, one <coughs> for the first place, I have one for the second place, I have zero for third place, and I have three for no place, okay? And so on. So, the number five here is the extra credit. Okay, I make the extra credit. It's like 25 points if you want to tackle it. I mean, so if I press five, then <coughs> just tell me uh, out of all my horses in here, how many uh, first place did they did they place? How many second place, third place, and no place? Same same concept here. So when I press five down here, <coughs> where the bottom? So I'm going to press 5, it should go and count, okay, the number of 1s, which is the first place, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, so fourth, first place. I have 1, 2, and 3 for the second place, I have only 2, 4, uh, 1, 2, and 3 for third place, and I have 10, did not place. Okay, so I'm not counting each horse, but the total uh, wins and placements for all the horses. All right? So let's go back up here. <coughs> um, <coughs> so you're going to create a two-dimensional array to store the race results. So you create one method to generate the runs. You can use it. Uh, I have a uh, random generator. You can use mine, or you can create your own, or you can just go and manually create a table. That's fine. <coughs> and then you're going to create a method to calculate the wins. Okay and the number one for those and then you have another method to display the results to the output 
Okay, so just make sure you use what you learned so far: loops, uh, if blocks, case switch statements, and those, and so on, to make your code more efficient, right? And then just make sure also uh, you should always put this in your program. <coughs> I mean, uh, although I did not really require you to do it, but it's always good because eventually you will get to be doing this in the real world when you write your application. You want to make sure you have ownership of the application. Copyright issues is also important. Okay, so um, <coughs> so there's no right or wrong way to solve this problem. Okay, you can solve it any way you want. Uh, you can use the arrays, um, classes, you can use the array list if you are good with that. That's completely okay with that too. Uh, but <coughs> so here is the um, optional way you can generate the table. This table here is um, this table right here. Okay, so this is, I'm just, you can go and create this manually yourself just so that you always have the same placement, it's fine, as in the, as in the example here. Or you can have it randomized so that every time you run, you always have a random number generated. Okay, so uh, this function will give that for the random uh, tables for you. So just just copy and paste this in your code. That's fine. And you just call this function, and then it will uh, generate a random number for you. Okay. <coughs> so. Um, I think I might have my examples in here. Do I have it? Yeah, I have it in here. So I'll show you a little bit. Okay, so notice also when, I, when you create your, your uh, constants, and a lot of you did a pretty good job on your assignments, okay? Always use capital letters for your constants. Okay, always. It just makes it easier to read. It's also easier for you to tell, oh, that's a constant. I know right away. I don't have to worry about that variable it is. Okay, so um, you would declare the number of horses, so four, and the number of races, five, and the placements would be three, and whatever it is. So when you run this, um, <coughs> so I get the list here, right? And then if I pick, if I pick two, then I'll get, you know, uh, one win for first place, one for second place, and then zero for third place, and I have three zero for the fourth place. Okay? And then if you run it again, and if you press five for all of them, you get, you just basically count the number of ones and then twos and threes and so on. So I'm using the same, the same table here, if you notice. So now if I switch it to the random number, so like right here, <coughs> this is just the static. And if I use the random number, okay, if you run this now, you see that I get a random number every time. So three zero two two one, run again, get a number, a different number. Okay, I can still get like horse number one, I get a one <coughs> first place, two second place. Uh, one third place and then one zero place. All right. And if you have any questions, if you if the instructions is not clear or you get stuck anywhere else, um, just shoot me an email and I'll be more happy to assist. Okay, have fun with it. And <laughs> uh, it's not really that hard. Okay, it's, I, I'll show you. You'll find it's pretty pretty uh, just straightforward. Uh, the I think the 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 uh, challenge is because uh, you probably want to use an if or a case or a switch statement to switch and then look at those um, um, variables in the table okay, to count. So just make sure you loop through the array. Uh, and then if I pick for the horse one, then the index will be for the row will be fixed at that row zero. I just iterate through the columns. Okay, because it's pretty straightforward. So if I say horse one, that's index zero. So I just make that array races zero, one, zero, 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 one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four. Count those, add those up, print them out. Okay, if I pick horse three, then that's index of two, and then that fixed at zero. 
you know, fourth array two, zero, two, one, two, 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 three, two, four, and so on. Okay, the challenge is when you do all, all would be like, you do just basically loop the entire matrix and print them out. Or actually, you tabulate those values, right? So if it's a two, then you add that to the first place or second place. If it's a one, you add it to the first place. If it's a two again, you add it to the second place. So now it has count of two plus whatever it was before. And then zero has the no place, and then three has its own place. So you just count those, add them up, and then you see, so you're gonna have like four counters for each of those plays, right? So the first, second, third, and zero place. You count those and you increment those for each number you have in the array here. Okay, so um, again, how some people, some students use like four different counters for those, zero place, first place, whatever it is. Some use an array, okay, so an array of wins. <coughs> then the zero will be a zero will be the zero place, a one will be the first place, and then so on. So you just store it that way too. However you do it, it's fine. All right, I think that's it for today. Um, Good luck, and I'll see you next week.